Stay in the house. George, what's wrong? Just stay in the house. Tell me what's wrong. Good day, Mr. Faust. Good morning, Mr. Thomas. What can I do for you? Come to collect my rent. Well, Mr. Thomas, I think you're mistaken. You came by here the other week and you got what you wanted last time you were here. If I recollect, you found that out to be a reasonable trade-off. Mr. Faust, I thought you were a more respectable man referring to your wife as that. It's quite disappointing you're your first Japan woman as that. Anyway, the way I see it, until I get some real money, I'm welcome to come by as often as I want for whatever I want. You stay away from my wife. No money's come in since I sold that last coat, and those stallions went sterile. I don't know what happened to them, and I can't help it if folks won't buy old horses. But I will not let you continue to defile my wife and treat her like some common whore. Mind your tongue. Go to hell. Mr. Faust, let me ask you a question. If for some reason I had to force you off your property, my property, where would you go? How would you make a living? How would you pay for the tombstones that will one day rest over the bodies of you and your wife? I don't think you know, Mr. Faust, and I think that's what scares you so damn much. What scares me is that God lets men like you walk the face of the earth. He pities me because I pity you. You wasted a lot of my time this morning, Mr. Faust. I'm collecting today, and if you try to stop me, I'll put a bullet in your head. George. George. Yes? I don't know what to do. I can't live like this anymore. I'm not some method of compensation. How can you let him keep doing this? I'm not some animal that can be trained to serve. We fought a war to end that. You fought for the Union. We came out here so we could be by ourselves, to be safe. I've never felt less safe in my life. I want to leave here, George. We can't stay here. There's nothing for us. Where can we go? There's nowhere else we can go. We built the last seven years of our life here, and we just can't get up and start over. This is our home, and I we... want children, George. 
I want children and I don't want to raise them here. I want to take them someplace where they can be happy and, and go to school. I want to take them to the beach, George. You remember the beach. I, I want them to feel the warm sand under their little toes. I want them to chase gulls until they fly into the sky. I want them to bring me shells that we can collect and splash each other with water. Isn't that all you could want, George? We can't leave, Daly. Our business is gone. We have no money. We owe Ellie and Thomas seven months worth of rent. We're prisoners. Prisoners. I know that. He knows that. And for all I know, he's just waiting for one of us to keel over. For all I know, he did something to those stallions. You've lost your mind, George. <laughs>